yo, yo, man, what's good, y'all, man? It's your boy A1, aka Swag. On the first thing, man, first, go hit that subscribe. Um, but then go check out Game Rush, our coin sponsor. Get you some safe coins at Xbox, uh, PlayStation, PC. Use that code SA. The description's gonna be below inside the video. Uh, for the full even make sure you guys should be a game at SoCon as well. So we're gonna be talking about gun doubles offset week. Uh, we're gonna do a part three. I think we'll do three, a three series. So we're gonna do orbit, RPR orbit, part two, and then we'll do one more after that one. Um, RPR orbit is a unique RPO. We're gonna do random. Let's do random nickel. We do a lot of nickel. Right, right. uh, what you wanna do is an orbit. So it's like an RPO. I'm uh, bringing the backside. Let me take a little drink, a couple of my gold drink right here. Uh, we're reading left side, left, left side of the pill. We're gonna snap, have this orbit come around, and we're gonna go instant replay to show you guys what it looks like. So we got the orbit. Um, let me tell you guys what the truth is. I don't even know what it's like. Okay, so we're running this orbit. You're looking at the left side of the field, okay? So when I'm throwing it, I'm looking before I hand it off because I can run it or I can pass it. But I'm looking to either hand the ball off inside or run it. So right here, if I were to run it, I would have I would have probably the numbers inside because this, this linebacker has to get over there. And because it's in man coverage and he's rotating from like a running back out the backfield, he's not going to be able to get there in time. So because of that, I can throw the orb because there's no one over there and I got the numbers. You know what I mean? Now it's like we're playing ball game. We got two for two over out here. He's setting the edge of this guy. I will have a bigger receiver on the outside. You see we have Sammy Watkins. We got the speedsters inside. I mean, um, doing like the little orbit. Right there, what that does is that gives us a good opportunity to kind of get outside. Because that linebacker's not getting over there. So if you have a user, a lot of times the user is going to be a linebacker. That's why I really like this play a lot. It's going to be helpful because of the fact that the user has to be able to identify, A, it's an orbit, and then he has to make a choice between, okay, is he going to come over here and he's going to fill the gap or he's going to go grab it. So that's why I'm looking at the Mike Backer right here, but I'm also eyes. Before I'm throwing it, I'm like, okay, what's this guy doing? Because if he if, if somebody gets off, I got to make sure I'm able to get out of there and not throw like an interception or anything like that. So again, I look at that Mike because I, I want to hand the ball off. That's my thing, run first. But if it's there, RPO is there, I'm going to go ahead and pick the pass option. Nine out of ten times, especially in situations like that. So look at that one more time. Let's do a couple more. And if you add that into the part two, part one of the scheme, then it makes things a little bit more better too. Same thing here. He kills too. We can speed him outside that orbit. You can really get a feel. When you got speed out there again, the speed kills. If they don't come down, come down the right way, make the tackle, and you're able to get around, um, does damage because they have to switch on. That's the thing. That's what you have to understand. So look at that again one more time. When they're under the RPO, like this is man right here. This is like man blitz. So they're blitzing, right? RPOs kill man because now it's just like this is a computer. <laughs> he takes a bad angle. And then because he takes a bad angle, I have some speed on me. I'm able to get outside. So if he doesn't use her, that, that puts a lot of stress on the user. That means that he would have to switch. If he calls a blitz like this, he would have to switch to the safety, come downhill, and then make a tackle on a fast receiver of some sort, whether it's in regs or an ultimate team. He's got to come down and make a play. If he doesn't, then he's going to mess up. Um, I don't think this is a dumb AI play. It's just like what angle he's going to take. The guy's just doing his job, man. They just take bad angles. When you take bad angles, you're going to miss. Again, this is great. This is great, great against blitzes. Great against blitzes. These guys rushing the gap. I would have got blown up trying to miss, what's it called, trying to pass, trying to run the ball. So I had to dish that thing out. And they able to get us side, hit this guy in stride, um, and he's pushing now downfield. This is a smooth little play. Um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. 
Make sure you guys hit a sub. Um, again, check out Game Rushers in our description, our coin sponsor. For the full ebook, this is part two of the little mini scheme that I'm dropping with the first play. Uh, so, yeah, I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. Uh, your boy, one is